Hi, this is Marisha from Road to Speech, and I am excited to show you a quick overview or give you a quick tutorial of um, my, how to download a no print book companion onto your tablet. Um, and then I'm also going to give you a preview of my newest book companion for the mitten. Um, so you start out and you can go to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Marisha McGordy, and then you scroll down and you find my no print book companion and I also have a smart category over here if you end up purchasing more. Um, so you click on that and once you've purchased it you'll have the option to click the download now button so you can do that. And then you'll click open in iBooks just over here and then it'll show up and so um, this is the starting screen and then you can click start and this just gives a little bit of information um, kind of a summary of the tutorial um, but that's it that's all that you need it just you go to my teachers pay teachers store you click on the product you purchased you click download now open in iBooks if you're on um, a non Apple tablet uh, you would have to download Adobe Acrobat reader um, but you would just click it, open in Adobe Acrobat and it would do the same thing for you um, so one thing I wanted to show you was the Common Core reference chart that I included. I include this in all of my products. I list the skills um, that are targeted, and then I list the Common Core standards, which is useful um, when you're writing goals or as a teacher, just to make sure you're targeting the right standards. Um, so we'll go back home, and then we'll click Play. So these are the skills targeted in this book companion and today I'm going to give you a preview of the WH questions, the categories, and the pronouns. So a little bit of language, vocabulary, and grammar. Um, so to start with the WH questions, all of the activities include some sort of leveling. Um, the WH questions includes quite a bit. I've, inclu I've sorted the questions in um, developmental order, so the who and the what questions are generally easier and earlier developing, going to when and where and why. Um, and then finally I included some mixed questions, which is a review of all of these questions. So for level one, it includes a visual reminder of the meaning of the question. Um, so, and this is from Smarty Symbols. And so, what did the boy want? Mm, I think he wanted a pet mouse. Oh, nope. Let's try again. Uh, he wanted a mitten. And so, then it gives the student a little reinforcer, and it lets them go on to the next question. Um, what color? He wanted white. And then you can keep going. And then if at any time you're like, oh, this is too easy. Then you can go home. Um, and then I'll show you the why questions without the visuals. So... Why did Baba or the grandma knit the mittens? The boy wanted some. And got it. Um, and then why didn't Baba want to knit white mittens? Oh, they'd get lost in the snow. And then you can go home, and it'll bring you back to the skill page. If you click the home button again, it'll bring you back to the home screen. Um, so now I can show you the categories. Um, so this one has identifying the category and then identifying which item doesn't belong. So for this one, um, so this is Nikki. Is he clothing, a person, or furniture? Oh, he's a person. Um, which category does this picture belong to? Um, it's not a zoo animal. Or from rodent is the best one. Okay. And then, so it'll keep going through like that. And then identifying which one doesn't belong. It's the same kind of thing. <clears throat> which of these isn't a forest animal? Oh, the mittens, not. And then, um, so they all look really similar to this. I'll show you one more for the pronouns. So it starts very simple with, is this he, she, or they? Oh, that's a boy, it's a she, or a he. <laughs> oh, I think I need to practice on here some more. Um... And then, okay, so here's two people. Is that he, she, or they? Oh, that's they. So get some more practice with that. And then <clears throat> the next one is 
little bit more complex, but answering questions with that visual. So, who lived in the house? He did, she did, or they did? Oh, they did. They lived together. And so, that's another way to practice those pronouns in context a little bit more. Um, so, I'll double click to go home. Um, and then if you click home again, it'll take you to the very beginning. So that is an overview of my no prone book companion. Um, I really enjoy using this. I think it's nice to use while reading the book, um, to give students a little bit more visual support. Um, and the tasks are presented, so they go along with the sequence of the book. So if you're working on your, um, WH questions, um, you can, they'll come in order of the events in the book, which I think is really helpful. Um, and it's also a great activity for review after the book, um, or after reading the book. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it useful. If you have any more questions, feel free to email me. Um, my contact information is, um, on my store or you can email me at marisha.mcgordy at gmail.com or visit me at www.roadtospeech.com. Um, and that's all I have for you today. Thanks.